But after the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, after Sahih al-Bukhari, Imam Muslim is the one that authored the, I guess, the, the second most authentic book after, you know, Sahih al-Bukhari and after the Quran. That text should not contradict within of itself. As we know, the, the Quran is revealed from Allah, by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even hadith is revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So when the source of revelation is the same, there should be no apparent contradiction. Not between one hadith and another, or nor between the hadith and the Quran itself. So there should be no contradiction. something interesting that if you look at you know the type of honor and respect that the scholars of the past paid to hadith it's completely different to our understanding of it in our times What's interesting is Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu, he's counting the hair of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam as this is happening, the number of white hair. And this shows us the, you know, the level uh, of diligence and how meticulous they were in preserving the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, particularly his physical appearance as well, particularly his physical appearance as well.
One of the beautiful things that Imam uh, Muslim rahimahullah, mentions is the importance of you know taking from your teachers and being very careful of whom you allow to teach you, right? <inaudible> that indeed this deen is knowledge, so be very, very careful of whom you take your deen from, right? So it says that don't take your deen from everyone, but from everyone and everything, but scrutinize who you accept your religion from because it's a very heavy thing. So this is from the introduction of Sahih Muslim, which Now let us get into the death of Imam Muslim rahimahullah and then we can talk about the comparison between Bukhari and Muslim. So I told you that Imam Muslim had a very unique death. His unique death was as follows, that one day he was asked a question about a hadith and he absolutely had no idea what that person was speaking about. This person said, I heard such and such hadith from such and such narrator with such and such text and Imam Muslim is like flabbergasted, he has like no idea what is happening? Like, why, you know, where is this hadith coming from? So, Imam Muslim, he goes home and he tells his wife, Look, I want to lock up my library. I want no one to disturb me. Not you, not the children, no visitors, nothing. And the wife being all loving and caring, she's like, you're going to get hungry. You know, what are you going to eat? And subhanAllah, this is like uh, such a, a huge lesson over here. So, Imam Muslim is like, you know what, you're right. I should get something to eat. So his wife gives him a huge cauldron of dates. Like, I want you to think about the biggest patila, the biggest pot you have in your house, and think about like something twice or three times that size. It's filled with dates. He received it as a gift. She gives this to Imam Muslim. Imam Muslim, he starts opening up all his manuscripts of hadith. They're all over the place. And as he's reading a hadith, each time he reads a hadith, he eats a date. Each time he reads a hadith, he eats a date. Each time he reads a hadith, he eats a date takes the pits out and slowly but surely one pit after another you have a, a mountain building up next to Imam Muslim and Imam Muslim rahimahullah he died with his face in the manuscripts of his hadith looking for this hadith And they say that the reason why Imam Muslim rahimahullah died was that he had overdosed on dates. He had overdosed on dates. Now I know that sounds very funny and comical, so it's okay if you want to laugh. But you know, the hadith found in Bukhari and Muslim that are marfu'ah, meaning have a chain of narration, going back to the Prophet 
are authentic by ijma, are authentic by consensus. So any hadith that you find in Bukhari, any hadith that you find in Muslim, what you need to understand from them is that these are authentic hadith that you should accept, that you should accept and that you should not question.